Welcome. This demonstration is brought to you by Digital Den. In this demo, you will enhance the security and performance of your application by configuring HTTPS for your application load balancer with a valid SSL TLS certificate from AWS Certificate Manager. You will configure CloudFront as a content delivery network to cache objects from your application load balancer's origin, reducing the load on your application load balancer and improving latency for users. You will secure web communications by adding an alternate domain name and associating a custom SSL certificate to your CloudFront distribution. You will improve the security of this solution by configuring your CloudFront distribution to always use HTTPS when sending requests to your application load balancer. You will configure Amazon CloudFront and your application load balancer to prevent users from directly accessing your application load balancer. This allows users to access your application load balancer only through CloudFront, ensuring that you maximize the benefits of CloudFront security features and DDoS protection. By enforcing HTTPS you also prevent an eavesdropper from discovering the header name and value. Let's get started. In task 1, you will enhance the security of your application by configuring a HTTPS listener for your application load balancer, attaching a SSL TLS certificate, and setting up a redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. Navigate to the EC2 dashboard console. In the left-hand navigation pane select Load Balancers, and select your application load balancer. In the Listeners and Rules tab, choose Add Listener. For protocol port, choose HTTPS and keep the default port. For default actions, choose forward to target group and choose your target group. For security policy, AWS recommend that you keep the console recommended security policy. For default SSL TLS certificate, choose from ACM and choose request new ACM certificate. A new page opens and you are redirected to the AWS Certificate Manager console. ACM is a regional service. When you request a public SSL TLS certificate using ACM, the certificate is associated with the specific AWS region where you made the request. This means that the certificate is only usable within the region where it was issued. Under Certificates choose Request. Under Certificate Type choose Request a Public Certificate. Choose Next. Under Domain Names for Fully Qualified Domain Name enter your domain name. For Validation Method choose DNS Validation Dash Recommended. Choose Request. In Certificates choose the Refresh button. Your certificate should now be listed with a status of pending validation. Choose View Certificate. Under Domains choose Create Records in Route 53. Ensure the records are selected and choose Create Records. A green banner confirms that you successfully created DNS records. To verify that the CNAME records were created and properly propagated in your DNS configuration navigate to the Route 53 dashboard. Under DNS Management, choose Hosted Zones. Choose your hosted zone. Verify that the CNAME records required for ACM's DNS validation are present and correct. Keep in mind that DNS records might take some time to propagate across the DNS infrastructure. Usually, CNAME records propagate relatively quickly, but it's not uncommon for the process to take up to an hour or so. Be patient and recheck the records after some time if needed. Switch back to the load balancer page. Choose the Refresh button. Choose your certificate from the drop-down panel. Choose Add. Next, you will configure an HTTP listener rule that redirects HTTP requests to HTTPS. 
In listeners and rules select the HTTP 80 listener. Select manage listener and in the drop down choose edit listener. Under default actions, choose redirect to URL. For protocol port, choose HTTPS and for port number enter 443. Choose save changes. In task 2 you will set up a CloudFront distribution using your application load balancer as the origin, enabling HTTPS for secure communication. You'll also add an alternate domain name, associate a custom SSL certificate, and configure CloudFront to include a custom HTTP header in requests sent to the application load balancer to, to prevent users from directly accessing your application load balancer. Navigate to the CloudFront console. Choose Create a CloudFront distribution. If a setting is not specified in the following steps, use the default. Configure the origin settings for the distribution. In origin domain, search for and choose your application load balancer under elastic load balancer. In protocol choose, HTTPS. Under custom header, choose add header. For header name enter x custom header. For value enter, random value 123456789090. Configure the default cache behavior settings. For path pattern, keep the default wildcard setting. This means that all requests will go to the origin. For viewer protocol policy, choose redirect HTTP to HTTPS. This will help users find the website, even if they load the HTTP URL. For allowed HTTP methods, keep the default get, head setting. For restrict viewer access, keep the default, no setting. This will be a public website. Next configure cache key and origin requests. Keep the default, cache policy and origin request policy. For cache policy, choose cache optimized. For origin request policy optional, choose create origin request policy. The create origin request policy page opens. Including the host header in the cache key when creating a custom cache policy in CloudFront is essential to enable HTTPS between CloudFront and your application load balancer using your application load balancer's DNS name as the origin. This ensures the correct SSL certificate is used based on the requested domain name and allows proper isolation and caching for different origins served by the same application load balancer. In the details section for name enter HTTPS ALB cache policy. Under headers choose, include the following headers. For add headers, choose host. Choose create. Return to the cloud front page, and under origin request policy dash optional, choose the refresh button. Choose the HTTPS ALB cache policy. Configure web application firewall settings. Choose Do Not Enable Security Protection. Configure the Settings section of the distribution. In Price Class, keep the default Use All Edge Location setting. For Alternative Domain Name, specify your unique domain name. For Custom SSL Certificate, choose Request Certificate. The AWS Certificate Manager console opens. To use an ACM certificate with Amazon CloudFront, you must request a public certificate in the U.S. East and Virginia region. ACM certificates in this region that are associated with a CloudFront distribution are distributed to all the geographic locations configured for that distribution. Under Certificate Type choose Request a Public Certificate. Choose Next. 
Under Domain Names for Fully Qualified Domain Name enter your domain name. For validation method choose DNS validation dash recommended. Choose request. In certificates choose the refresh button. Your certificate should now be listed with a status of pending validation. Choose view certificate. Under domains choose create records in route 53. Ensure the records are selected and choose create records. A green banner confirms that you successfully created DNS records. Return to CloudFront and under Custom SSL Certificate Dash Optional, choose the Refresh button. Choose the certificate you just created. Scroll to the bottom and choose Create Distribution. While the distribution is being created, last modified at the top of the page displays deploying. It might take 5 to 15 minutes for the deployment to complete. In the previous task you configure CloudFront to add a custom HTTP header to the requests that it sends to your application load balancer. In task 3 you configure your load balancer to only forward requests that contain this custom header to prevent users from directly accessing your application load balancer. You do this by adding a new rule and modifying the default rule in your load balancer's listener. To update the rules in an application load balancer listener open the load balancers page in the Amazon EC2 console. Choose the load balancer that is the origin for your CloudFront distribution, then choose the listeners and rules tab. Choose the listener HTTPS 443, choose manage rules and in the drop down choose add rule. Under names and tags enter, forward custom header rule. Choose next. In the define rule conditions section, Choose Add Condition and then in Rule Condition Types, choose HTTP Header. For HTTP Header Name, enter X Custom Header. For HTTP Header Value, enter Random Value 1234567890. These values should be the same as the ones you entered in your CloudFront distribution. Choose Confirm. Choose Next. In the Define Rule Actions section, under Action Types choose Forward to Target Groups and, choose the Your Target Group. Choose Next. In Set Rule Priority, in Priority Enter 1. Choose Next. In Review and Create, choose Create. Next, you will edit the default rule. Scroll down and under Listener Rules, select the default rule and choose Actions and Edit Rule. Under Listener Details, for default actions, choose Return Fixed Response. For Response Code, enter 403. For response body, enter access denied. Choose save changes. After you complete these steps, your load balancer listener has two rules. The first rule forwards requests that contain the HTTP header, which are the requests that come from CloudFront. The second rule sends a fixed response to all other requests, which are requests that don't come from CloudFront. In task 4, you integrate your custom domain with your CloudFront distribution. You will integrate your custom domain with a CloudFront distribution using Route 53's alias records. Navigate to the Route 53 dashboard. Choose Hosted Zones. Choose the hosted zone for your domain. Under Records, choose Create Record. For routing policy, choose Simple. Choose Next. Under Configure Records, choose Define Simple Record. For record name, 
Enter the domain or subdomain name that you want to use to route traffic to your application load balancer. The default value is the name of the hosted zone. For value slash root traffic to, choose alias to CloudFront distribution. Choosing an alias record in Amazon Route 53 allows you to create a DNS record that points to specific AWS resources, such as your ALB. Next, choose your CloudFront distribution. Choose Define Simple Record. In Configure Records, choose Create Records. You can verify that the solution works by testing that traffic your application can flow only through CloudFront. This can be done using your standard internet browser. Request sent directly to your application load balancer returns a 403 response with the plain text message access denied. Request sent to your CloudFront returns your web application or content. What you see now is that by making application load balancer to forward only requests from CloudFront to your web servers behind it you can be confident that nobody can bypass your edge perimeter. Surface of any attack is greatly reduced and you can focus on building up the security of the perimeter.